In this video, we're going to talk about recursion, which is a really important idea in mathematics and computer science, when a definition, proof, or calculation somehow makes reference to or relies upon itself. Recursion is a really hard idea to explain, but it's actually a really easy idea to show examples of, so we're going to hop right into the example. n factorial, which is this n with the exclamation point next to it, is defined to be the product of any positive integer n with all of the integers between it and 1, including 1. So n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1, times n minus 2, etc., times 2 times 1. And furthermore, we define 0 factorial to be equal to 1. Here are the first few factorial values. For example, uh, 1 factorial is just the product of 1 by itself, so that's just 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1, so 2. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, so 6. And 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, so 24. 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or 120. You may have already picked up on the fact that each factorial appears in the following factorial. For example, when I'm calculating 5 factorial, these four numbers here are actually 4 factorial. So I could have expressed 5 factorial as 5 times 4 factorial. That leads us to the recursive definition of the factorial. n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 factorial. And again, we make the stipulation that 0 factorial is equal to 1. So let's see how that plays out. 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 factorial. Now we can go one of two ways here. If we happen to know the value of 4 factorial, then we can just do 5 times 24 and get 120. This is called an iterative calculation because it required us to know the values of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 factorial to proceed. Let's say that we didn't store the value of 4 factorial. Then we can unpack 4 factorial. It's 5 times 4 times 3 factorial using the recursive definition. And then that's equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. And then that's equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 factorial, which is just equal to 1 times 0 factorial, which is 1. So we won't write two ones there, we'll just write a single one. Now, even though we don't know any factorial values necessarily, we can calculate that this is equal to 120 since all we needed to know was the initial value of the factorial and the recursive relationship, this is called a recursive calculation. 